A hardened sinner has no understanding that sin separates him from God because his understanding is darkened, the scripture says. Ephesians 4.18 says, They are darkened in their understanding and alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardness of their hearts. There's ignorance. When they hear me, pleading with them to accept the Savior and have eternal life. They think that I am an idiot. Foolish. And it's offensive to say that they are a sinner and need a Savior. Because I don't say they are a sinner. Because I don't want to offend them. I just tell them how much God loves them because I really do not like the other approach. So I tell them the good things. How much God loves them and he sent a savior for them. And they really need eternal life with Jesus. And they go, hmm, why? I think I'm okay. First Corinthians 1.18 says, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. Foolishness. It's offensive because he doesn't think that he's a sinner. And other people are far worse off. I'm okay. I'm not that bad. I go to the Methodist church in town twice a year. <laughs> I have had somebody come in and they have checked me out. And although I've never received Jesus as my Savior, I understand the concept. And I think that I'm okay. But have I ever believed on him? No, but my wife did. Or my daughter did. Surely that qualifies me. No. And in my goodness and my good bedside manner, I let them go to hell. And I'm like the little guy that sits in the fire truck. And I don't rush in to save them because I'm afraid that I'm going to offend them. And maybe I should have. Do I look like I feel guilty? on the people that have turned down Jesus? No, I don't feel guilty. But I've been questioning God, God, I can't have turnout results like that. They've got to understand clearly that they're, what they're looking at. They're looking at heaven or they're looking at eternal death, hell. You know what God says to me? You didn't tell them that. I can't say that word. Hell. It doesn't sound good on a deathbed. James 2.8 says this. Turn to James 2.8 through 10. Love your neighbors yourself. If you, let me read it. If you fulfill the royal law, the royal law, whoo, according to the scripture, you will love your neighbor as yourself, you do well. But if you show favoritism, you sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. Transgressors. Whoever keeps the whole law but stumbles in just one point is guilty of breaking it all. So if I take the moment to open the law and show them, have you ever broken the law? Then you're considered a transgressor, transgressor against God. Because if you break one, you break them all. If I would just have done that, 
And that is why you need a savior. Now they're ready because I can tell them, but don't worry, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Me too. Romans 3, 23. Me. I, I've been a sinner too. But the good news is the power of God unto salvation. You're ready to hear it. 